Hi everyone! Welcome to my channel, Carolina's Creations Handmade. The perfect place for you to learn how to make beautiful things of your own. So if you're not one of my subscribers, make sure that you click the red button down below and also click on the little bell button down below so you don't miss any of my videos. And today I wanted to say thank you so, so much to each and every one of you from the bottom of my heart. I reached 3,000 subscribers. Yay! <laughs> and I know to many of you this is just a little milestone. To me it means just so much because each and every one of you means so much to me, guys. You have given me so much inspiration, so much encouragement, so much love, and I so appreciate it. And thanks to all that I actually decided to pursue one of my passions, which is crafting. So crafting is my biggest passion and I wanted to be able to do it uh, full time so I can share more with you and I can help you guys grow and I can grow along with you and I can help you make beautiful things of your own that you can share with your loved ones, uh, family and friends. So. Thank you, thank you guys so much and I wanted to ask you, please leave me a comment on the comment section below and let me know what type of content would you like to see from me? What kind of videos would be something that would be useful for you? Because again, this channel is for you. I really want this channel to be the best experience ever for you and I want it to be helpful. I want to help you create beautiful things of your own and I want to do things that you enjoy. And there are also going to be changes to my channel that I think they're going to be a lot of fun and that you guys are going to enjoy. It. So I hope that you guys like it. Uh, some of the changes are going to be, we're going to have uh, live crafty sessions. So you're going to be able to craft with me. I'm going to be able to craft along with you. So I can make tutorials that you guys can follow along uh, live and uh, we can have so much fun and create new friendships and new experiences together. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. Thank you so much guys and I also want to share with you this little guy I made for my friend Catherine. So Catherine I hope you like it and you guys have to watch till the end because you don't want to miss anything that's inside this beautiful and cute little guy. Thank you so much. Love you guys. Mwah! Keep watching. All right, guys, so let's have a look at this beautiful traveler's notebook. So this one I made for my friend Catherine. So Catherine, I hope you like it. I had so much fun making it for you. So I know you love your pets. I know you love dogs. So I thought this little pooch over here was perfect for you. And on the side, uh, instead of making a charm for it, what I did is I made two pom-poms that I actually glued together because I wanted them to remain together so they would look better. They're always together, it looks better. And I also added this little ball. This one is a sequence ball. It's a gray one, it's beautiful. And I added this little tag here that says Inspire. So on this side, I place this little doggy here, this little pooch is so adorable. It has this little pom pom and she also has a little bow here, a pocket dot bow. That looks so adorable in here. So I decided to glue in here this pink ribbon, this pink bow actually, that I thought went really perfect with her. And I use this charm here that it's a heart, a heart charm and it says I love my pet and it just goes so perfect with the theme so I use this ribbon here that I had on my stash this one is from Stampin Up and I thought it would give the traveler's notebook a lot more interest it makes it look so so much more adorable so you turn it on the side and here I place some more of that ribbon and as you see here, it has four holes in here that I uh, placed some eyelets on and this gave me space so I could put four cords inside. So you can hold four inserts here plus your folders and pockets and uh, things of the sort. So I also used this little flower eyelet here that I thought looked so adorable. <laughs> okay, so let's open it and see what's inside. Alrighty, so when you open it, you can see it's pretty simple inside. I try to keep it clean um, so it would kind of match the theme of the notebook. So on this side, I made a pocket using some faux leather, the same leather, that I, faux leather that I use for the cover. 
and this all leather I bought at Hobby Lobby. Here I placed just a little sheet of stickers that she can use on her notebooks. And here I placed another piece with a few more stickers. This one are epoxy stickers that she can use throughout her notebook. This insert here, this one's I bought at the Dollar Tree and I usually decorate them with the decorative paper but I thought the colors and the sign went perfect. <laughs> I really really like how it goes with the gray and then I love the saying here that says dream. If you can dream it, you can do it. <laughs> and I so hope that's true because I'm dreaming right now so much. So here's a line insert and over here you can see we have this pen loop. I made this pen loop using a binder clip and some elastic ribbon. And I place over here this beautiful pink pen. And this pink pen has some clear beads inside and it's just adorable. And the best thing of this pen is that it also has this in here, this um, rubber. And this one you can use for your electronics. You can use it on your electronics like your tablets, your phones, your computers, and things of the sort. So on this side, we have this plastic piece over here, and this one is a pocket also. So she can put anything in here. She can store things in there. And on this side, there's another notebook, and this one is part of this uh, notebooks that I bought at the store and I didn't decorate it either because I really like the colors. I like how it goes with the gray. So what I did is I just made an embellishment for it using one of my stamps and I used also some of the distress inks from Tim Holtz and I made some sticky uh, notes that said uh, memories off and I'll just place it in there. So this one is another line notebook and over here you can you see this one is a planner this one is a weekly planner I bought it also at the Dollar Tree store and then what I did is I just added a little tag here that I made before this says lovely and um, this plastic pocket in here was actually the cover for this weekly planner but I thought it was sturdy enough that it doesn't really need a cover and I think it's a very use to just use it like this because I can she can store things in here she can use it as a pocket instead of just a cover so it will give her some more space and as you see this one inside this one is great and it has the week off Monday Tuesday all the days of the weeks and some spaces here for notes so it's really really nice and when you go to the other side, this is the other side of that plastic cover. And this one then will work as another pocket for her. So she can place things in there. Over here, this one lost the stickiness. So let's just cool it. So over here on this side, I placed the sticky notes that she can use to write some things in. And I also placed this little doggy paws in here. They're adorable, they're 3D. And um, they're actually, she can actually remove them. They're stuck pretty tight in there, but they can be removed and she can use them anywhere else to decorate anything else she wants. And then this one is an, a folder that I made actually using another folder, a big folder from the office supply store. It's a poly something folder. And uh, what I did is I cut it and I made my own little folder. So on this side, you have this space here, this flap here. And I place this little tag here that says puppy love. Actually, it's not little, <laughs> it's a journaling tag. So she can use that. And in here, I adhere this credit card holder. This is a plastic credit card holder. She can use it to store IDs, business cards, credit cards, anything that she wants in there. And I made this little blank insert using blank paper for her to just doodle. On the other side you have the other side of the folder and I place here a different kind of credit card holder pocket 
there's plastic pockets in there. And then I placed this little journaling tag here that has this little pause. But I thought it went so adorable. It went perfect with the theme. And on here she has another pocket that she can use to store anything that she wants. On this side in here she can use it as a dashboard too. And she could place sticky notes. Um, anything that she would like to use there for her dashboard. And here I made another pocket using some more of that um, full leather that I used for the cover. And then in here I actually placed this big journaling tag and this one has some doggy bones in it so I thought it went perfect the colors are perfect for this and I just place here this little more stickers a little piece of sheet with stickers and this ones are seals like for envelopes if she wants to mail something or she can use those to decorate throughout her planner to her traveler's notebook so guys you have to let me know what you think about this little book i really really thought it turned out so 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 adorable and i hope she likes it i hope you guys liked it too and i hope this inspires you to create your own so if you liked it don't forget click the like button subscribe and leave me a comment on the comment section below tell me what you like the best about this little notebook and also remember to tell me what kind of videos would you like to see in my channel and um, thank you again so so much for all your love and support and i hope to see you guys here soon for another video <laughs> bye bye love you guys